if this guy's elected president, we're going to have civil disorder like you've never seen. Okay. Because he's going to try to violate every law, and people are going to start objecting. You're going to see people on the streets. And what that's going to do to the economy is not great. We're going to see capital capital flow, both human and financial, like you've never seen from the United States before. And so all of these reasons, I think, I think we're going to be able to explore this between now and November. And I think that's the reason why ultimately, I think common sense will prevail and, and this guy will win. But the problem will still be there will be 50, 60, 70, well, 80 million people who will vote for the guy. And we still have to live with those people. And we're going to have to deprogram them at some point. That's Kellyanne Conway's ex-husband telling whoever hosts The Daily Show that liberals are going to need to deprogram Trump supporters after Biden wins the election. Maybe he should focus more on deprogramming his daughter from doing OnlyFans. Welcome to Nurk News, I'm Nurkish, and Comedy Central must be hard up for guests because you know you're scraping the bottom of the barrel when you have a nobody on like George Conway. Listen to him smugly try to instruct The Daily Show on how to troll Trump to awkward silence from the audience. He's a narcissistic sociopath. He is an, he has narcissistic personality disorder and he has sure, sure. sociopath. Yeah. And what needs to be done is that needs to be talked about openly. You need it needs to be pointed out when he is doing things that meet those criteria and it's got to be pointed out and it drives him nuts when people do that. And that's the other thing is what you can do is you can have this cycle where you drive him nuts by saying he's crazy, he acts nuts. Then you have more video and say, look at how nuts he is. And that's what has to be done. The other thing that I would recommend to liberals is don't get mad. The people who support Trump like when liberals get <laughs> mad. That's why they like Trump. They say, oh, he makes all these people, these, these, these snotty liberals mad. It's like, make fun of him. Don't, 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 at the, you, can, you can make fun of him and mock him you know, the way, you know, I mean, this is what, we, this is what these yeah, shows you're kind do. Yeah, you're kind of addressing uh, the whole premise right of the show right, right. now. Right, yeah. exactly. I thought what we're trying to do, yeah, I don't no, know. No, no, you guys, you all play an important role. Oh. Kimmel at the Oscars play, played an, plays an important role. Sure. Laugh at him. Now, that doesn't mean you don't appreciate the seriousness of what would happen to this country, which is the other message to the rich people who want, who want their taxes cut. You know, this guy is so, you know, this guy is so pathetic that he's still obsessing over some small bit of notoriety he got from when Trump called him a loser five years ago on Twitter. Even his advice is just what he tweeted in response to Trump at the time and the media praised him for. Like a lot of liberals now, he's trying to act all cavalier like Trump doesn't get under his skin, but he can't even bring himself to say his name. They all act like he's Voldemort or something. But you know, he is right about one thing. If Trump's elected, we probably will see civil disorder like we've never seen because the left will likely return and ramp up its mostly peaceful protests and intimidation tactics. Thankfully, this time around, Trump will be a little bit more motivated to bring some law and order back to the country. But let me know what you think. Do Trump supporters need deprogramming? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, please go to like and subscribe to the channel. This stuff really does help us out. Until then, this has been Nurk News. Thanks for watching. Bye.